This is one of those fake prescriptions, and police say there were dozens of these, and the pills just weren't being swallowed by those filling these prescriptions, but they went into the streets. Bag after bag of drugs, police say they took from doctor's office employee Tammy Thomas, who allegedly stole prescription forms from the doctor's cabinet and wrote out scripts for oxycodons. She has since been fired. Police said Thomas admitted to it, claiming she wanted to, quote, help people. When the pharmacy would call to check on the prescriptions, she would be the one that answered the phone and confirmed that they were valid prescriptions. Their evidence shows Thomas had 8,000 pills dispensed in just eight months at pharmacies from Greensburg to Uniontown. That's a street value of nearly a quarter of a million dollars. And that's where investigators believe the majority of the drugs went. Obviously, it's, it's putting more out on the street. Um, she, the people that were involved in this obviously weren't taking them all. They were selling them. Police busted Thomas when an employee at the Shop and Save Pharmacy in Greensburg had a suspicion the prescription was fake. Dr. Sirama Gunter in Mount Pleasant confirmed he never handwrites scripts for oxycodons. He felt that it was a for forged prescription. He called the doctor's office and actually spoke to the doctor himself who confirmed that it was he did not write that prescription. Police found Michelle Uren had received 70 scripts, Thomas Kerrigan received two, and Ashley Hickson received three. They are all facing charges as well, but Hickson didn't want to talk about it. For what? Filling fraudulent prescriptions. No. Do you want to say anything about it? A man named Charles Dean had 19 prescriptions in his name, but police aren't yet sure if he filled them himself or if his name was just used. He is not facing charges at this time. All four suspects are now awaiting their preliminary hearings in Greensburg. Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.